It's a rainy day here in New York. Finished up with a little bit of work. And I had the opportunity, I was just thinking with the holiday that passed, and to think of many of these young men on what is known as D-Day, where many young American men sacrifice their lives so that Americans could be free. And many of these men were very young, had their whole lives ahead of them, had the opportunity to have families. Many of these young men never made it back. I think the life expectancy of many of these individuals was literally in the minutes and they gave up their lives so that many Americans nowadays could squander the freedom that they died for. These men fought against tyranny that was encroaching upon the inhabited earth. And they chose on this particular day at this particular time to sacrifice themselves, to offer up their lives so that those who would come after them would remain free. And when you look at America today, it's disgusting to imagine that not even a hundred years later, and the very same tyranny, and the very same style of government that these young men fought and gave their lives for, Americans are literally lying down and taking, as their country has basically been turned into a socialist nation. As many Americans now, as the job numbers come out, many Americans don't want to work. Many Americans feel that they are owed something, while these young men basically put in the work and were willing to sacrifice themselves. They're literally willing to give up their entire future, their life, the prospects of having a family and passing on their genes, having a family, creating a business, just living to old age. They decided to sacrifice all that so that you could be free. And Americans today dishonor the sacrifice of these young men. That's why I say, Americans, you should no longer celebrate Memorial Day. You should no longer celebrate these days where these fine young men sacrifice themselves because you shame them by allowing what your country has turned into. You, you don't even make an attempt to push back. From two weeks to slow the spread to watching your children being taught that white people are racist, are inherently racist with critical race theory. Seeing your own politicians gaslight you. To hear a white man by the name of Joe Biden call other white people white supremacists and that they are far more, that they are worse than the terrorists that brought down the Twin Towers, that they committed other atrocities in other lands. To say that you people, that you white people, are the real problem. While at the same time, in essence, enslaving a whole other race of people. You watch them bring in minorities from other nations through your borders. You watch your own election that you claim was stolen illegally from you, and you do nothing. You watch them throw in, throw in jails some of these individuals who supposedly had an insurrection on the 6th and you do nothing. They threaten to take your freedom of speech and you do nothing. They threaten to take away your second amendment and you do nothing. They threaten to inject you with an experimental medication and you do nothing. They threaten to say that if you don't take it, well then you're not gonna be able to go to work and Americans do nothing. They print the hell out of the dollar, causing, infra causing inflation, minimizing and basically stealing your labor, and you do nothing. While at the same time, claiming to be the land of the free and the home of the brave. All I see are slaves and cowards. I don't see men like this willing to sacrifice their lives so that other individuals can be free. All you see are people just looking out for self. And I understand it. Decades, decades of just emasculating men. 
these men that lived in this time would not have allowed what is going on now to go on in our time. They would fought and die. They took a pledge, an oath, to fight though to fight against tyranny, both foreign and domestic. And yet you watch your very same military protect the same individuals that these men fought against. Same very the same type of men and the same type of women through the propaganda of the media, and you do nothing. You watch them destroy and burn your cities over the course of a year, and you do nothing. These, if these men were alive, they would be ashamed of you. I'm ashamed of you. It's surprising to see uh, a once mighty nation, to see and to pretend to honor these men. Raise your flags, and for what? They spit on your flags, your own politicians, and you do nothing. Your men fought against those who would enslave others. People nowadays just don't have a care in the world. As long as I get a stimmy check, I don't care if you take my job away and tell me it's not essential. These, these men that lived during this time period, they wouldn't have tolerated that. You have people quitting their jobs because they just want the American government to send them a check. You have more people who are quitting their jobs now at a time where you're going to see rampant inflation if you're, not, if you're not preparing for this. You have American men who will literally watch their women be beat in the streets and they will do nothing. They will sit here as a man right here in this car. He will watch this woman be beaten to the ground and none of them will do anything to protect this woman. You'll see some men come over here. They'll walk up. They'll see this man standing over this woman that he just finished beating. One, two, three men plus the car that pulled up plus the person over here. And they do nothing. And this is the state of the American men. This is the state of the American men nowadays. They will literally watch their women be beat in the streets and they will do absolutely nothing. You have your military. is so weak and pathetic. Overwhelmingly has a, a, because of obesity. And these are your young men. These are the men that are responsible for going overseas and for your protection. <laughs> Scared of a raccoon. <laughs> Squealing like, like women. This is shameful. You have police officers that literally this is happening. <laughs> can't even chase down a man. They're so fat. These officers are so fat that they can't even catch this man who's, it's like a brisk jog. Look, look at this. Look at the body sizes on these police officers that are there for your protection. They can't even catch this man. Look, he literally stops and walks and they become so tired because they're so fat and so out of shape. And this is in Texas, right? They're so out of shape that this man literally slows to a crawl. They still are too fat and lazy to apprehend him. I couldn't imagine being a person who was in the military, you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago and to see the state of the nation and to see the state of the American people, especially the men, how they have grown so weak, so pathetic. What a shame, a once mighty nation.